Hey everyone, in this video today, I am in downtown Dallas going to the AT&T Discovery District and checking out some general sites in the area. I parked just a couple blocks away from the AT&T Discovery District on Commerce and Lane Street. Dallas downtown is pretty unique. There are a couple of buildings that are pretty short in height, surrounded by some that are really tall skyscrapers. We've now made it to 208 South Ackerd Street in Dallas, Texas, which has the AT&T Discovery District. I paid a visit around 2 p.m. on a Sunday, so this is what the traffic looks like out here. There's quite a decent amount of people that are just sitting, hanging out, and just enjoying the sights of downtown in this semi-open air area. So what is the AT&T Discovery District? It is made possible through some of the world's most leading edge technology. This huge area is called the plaza. There is a green space, this fountain that wraps around. Pretty much people just hang out and post selfies. That large screen towards the back is a 104 foot media wall that wraps around the building on Eckerd and Jackson. 9,300 square feet and 6K resolution. To my right here, we have the exchange. The Exchange is a decent sized food hall, you know, for when you can't decide what to eat. There are two stories, 16 eateries, and two bars all in one food hall right here in the heart of the district. It is a grab-and-go type experience, but there is ample seating area as well, where you can just hang out with your friends and have a good time. The public bathrooms are in this area as well, as well as this soda fountain. Events are also hosted in this area. The view towards the north includes Hotel Adolphus and Magnolia Dallas. Towards the south, there is this massive game of checkers alongside the fountain, as well as the Jackson Beer Garden. At the southernmost tip of this, there is the Spirit of Communication. Immediately adjacent, we have the AT&T Experience Studio, where inside you can find a lot of different colorful lights and photo opportunities, such as this one, lots of LEDs, and a mirror. And they also have activity for the smaller ones as well. And on this side, this appears to be just a general AT&T store where they can demo products, the internet speed, phones, and other stuff AT&T related in the ecosystem. And over here we have AT&T's iconic globe, which features 300,000 LEDs, looks cool at night, and it's 30 feet tall. After the Discovery District, walk down the street to Pegasus Plaza, where you can see this collection of fountains. Then I made my way onto Elm Street, where I walked towards the Giant Eyeball, another iconic location in downtown Dallas for pictures. On 1601 Main Street, we have the Eye, which is a 30-foot tall sculpture made back in 2007, dropped here in 2013 by Tony Tassett. There is a row of restaurants next to it, including a bagel shop, Tex-Mex, the Woolworth, and an Italian restaurant. Now I'm walking away from the eyeball towards Neiman Marcus on Main Street and South Hervé Street. And for those interested in more sites of downtown Dallas, there was this map that shows all the different sites available, including hotels, parks, points of interest, general areas. After that, I went for a different view of the skyline, so I stopped at Pacific Plaza on the corner of Live Oak Street and Harwood Street. This is just another nice open area down here in downtown Dallas where you can admire the skylines from wherever you're sitting. Along the streets, there are these murals and also huge ad boards just plastered alongside the buildings. On my way out of downtown Dallas, I passed the Dallas Municipal Building on Main Street and South Harwood. And over here we have old downtown in the foreground and new downtown skyscrapers going up in the background. On Harwood and Wood Street is the first Presbyterian church in Dallas. Continuing down Harwood, still more buildings on the left side that appear to be abandoned coming down and will be replaced with some newer ones. Over here also I'm passing the Dallas Scottish Rite. And that's it for this video. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Thank you.